with me M's. So a little while back I said I'd be doing a craft video and it would be either the nature journal or the animal poster and like a few people said, you know, do this nature journal. But then today I am, um, it's quite a long story, I was thinking that my puppy Monty, who's um, sleeping, he loves tug of war ropes and I, I got to thinking, could you make a tug of war rope instead of having to buy a brand new one? So I'm going to be showing you how to make this. Um, just out of a pair of old jeans and obviously these have already been cut but I'll show you how to do it so yeah that's the bit you don't need what you want to do is get the old jeans and these have got tears in and everything and you just want to straighten out one leg and just get it nice and flat cool now this one is going to probably be quite hard so I'm going to cut in two places and see, I'm going to make two and just see which one's probably more be better. So you just want to cut through and it probably isn't, cutting's not very easy through these jeans. So I'm like using the tops of the scissors. But don't do this with brand new jeans because you don't need to go out and buy new jeans because then it would be easier just to buy a, um, right. All right. What you want to do then is cut, so it's still a, sorry, it's still like got to pop it down so you can put your arm through it. Um, so you're just going to cut up the top. Sorry about the noise, the washing machine's going. Because Mom T made a fun mess with his bed. Alright, so you can cut it so it's like this. And I'm actually going to be making a slightly different one than this, I've just realised. I'm going to make it a bit of a larger one. Alright, now, you have to cut it into three strips. And you can do more strips in, to make a slightly different plait or pattern. But I'm just doing this because it's probably the most basic. And if you cut it halfway, you should. Um, yeah, you can just rip through that. Get this one strip done. And then just gonna cut number two. I'm just gonna rip that one. And actually get through this one. Cool. But just do it like a little bit at a time because you don't want to accidentally rip it right across the middle. That's what I did earlier, so I had to redo it all. And then just cut through the ankle bit job done so now you should have three strips you've got one two three and it doesn't matter if they're different lengths or sizes um that black bit which is actually just the inside of the jeans is slightly larger uh, smaller than all the others so now i'm very curious if this is going to work just want to get the tops and bundle them all together right we have to try and make a knot and I can already tell this is going to be very difficult. So I have to tie a knot about halfway down. It's very hot today. This isn't working. Right. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video. And I'm going to do it with a slightly larger piece. But. Yeah I'm still going to use the same way. I'm just pausing the video to save me doing it all over again for you guys. So I'll see you in a minute when it's done. Okay so um. Yeah, it did not work very well, that's as far as I've got, but there's not going to be enough room to pat it. So what I actually thought is you can make a slightly different toy, and you can still make this one. Um, obviously, if you know how to plait, you just do the exact same, just make it a bit longer, because quite a bit of the size difference. It's just because those ones were ripped a bit further down um, on the knee than the other um, leg. So. Right, so what I'm going to do is actually get my scissors, and get a similar size strip, just like this. I'm going to cut, but it has to be quite a thin strip. I'm just going to cut through it. It doesn't actually need to be that long, just thinking about it. Just long enough to tie a knot with, like a bow or a ribbon. And done. So, got that. And what I'm going to do is lie this out. And. 
tie it there. And I mean, it's a dog toy, so it doesn't have to look perfect. I mean, it's for the dog to play with. If, if, if the dog can play with it, then it's good. And now we're on to the second bit. So you just want to cut three or four strips off this bit. And it doesn't, obviously, like I said, have to be with old jeans. You can use fabric or you could use a t-shirt. Just any scrappy bits of clothing you have, you could probably make this out of. Okay, and then we're going to go a bit further down, just to here. Tie the knot again. Double knot that. Right, we're almost done now. That is going to be my last knot. And then I'll show you the final steps. So it would look a bit like that. It looks a bit messy, but you can... Hang on. It's easy to be fixed. You can just trim the edges. And pull out the thready bits. It just looks a bit nicer now. And then, you're left with this bit. And what you can do, you don't have to do this, you can just leave it now. What I'm going to do is cut it into strips, but keep them all attached at the top. One. Two. So you're almost making it look a bit like a mop. So that's the bottom, and then there you go, you have a nice dog toy, which um, didn't come out like this, but I still just as fun. So now, we're going to test it on a sleeping puppy. Honey! No, he's sleeping. But yeah, that's all um, I've got for today's today, guys. 